We begin this morning with passage of the biggest change to the nation's tax code in decades appears to be all but certain. After weeks of wavering prospects, Republicans wavering prospects, lawmakers appear to have enough votes to pass the sweeping measure affecting every taxpayer and business in the U.S. Passage would give President Trump his first major legislative victory. But the bill's projected to add almost one and a half trillion dollars to the budget deficit over the coming decade. Once holdout, Senators Marco Rubio and Bob Corker have now both agreed to support the final version of the bill, putting it on track for a vote in the days ahead. Errol Barnett is on Capitol Hill with the latest. Errol, good morning. Good morning. You're right. Now that key Republican holdouts have signed on, GOP leaders are on track to pass this bill as early as next week. But there is quite a lot of fine print, so lawmakers will likely spend the weekend going through the bill's more than 500 pages. I think it's going to do very, very well. I think that we are going to be in a position to pass something as early as next week. President Trump is bullish on getting a tax cut bill on his desk by Christmas. The final Republican plan retains seven personal tax brackets, with rates dropping for almost everyone. A family earning $75,000 a year, for example, would see its marginal rate drop from 15 to 12 percent. Everyone's lives will be better off under tax reform because of the tax relief families get. Republican leaders made a last-minute change Friday, boosting the refundable portion of the child tax credit to $1,400. That means low-income parents pocket that money even if they don't owe taxes. This is good for working families. That earned back the vote of Florida's Marco Rubio and fellow holdout Bob Corker. The Tennessee senator set aside his concerns about the deficit and called this bill a once-in-a-generation opportunity to make U.S. businesses more productive and and competitive. It's a monumental con job. The public knows it's awful. Democrats call the bill a sham and say this is a giveaway to big businesses. And the American people, by substantial numbers, believe this bill is not good for them. The bill slashes the corporate tax rate permanently from 35 to 21 percent, while most of the personal tax cuts expire in 2025. How are you? Living the dream. There is a catch for Republicans. Arizona's John McCain and Mississippi's Thad Cochran miss votes all week due to health issues. Lawmakers are hopeful for their return. I think John McCain will be here. Now, the White House is keenly aware of the slim Republican majority here and the importance of this bill to President Trump's domestic agenda. So it is delaying a scheduled trip to the Middle East next week by Vice President Mike Pence just in case his tie-breaking vote is needed. Anthony? Errol Barnett on Capitol Hill. Thanks, Errol.